All right, go ahead and do the rest. <laughs> so today we are gonna be showing you how to flat tow a Bronco. That's all I know. What's up everybody? So today we are gonna give you a no-nonsense how to flat tow your Ford Bronco behind your motorhome or really any other rig. The equipment that we are gonna be using today is Blue Ox's flat tow setup, Blue Ox's tow plate for the Bronco, all the cables and all the wiring that you're gonna need necessary to be able to flat tow your Ford Bronco. We're also gonna go over how you put your Ford Bronco in flat tow mode so that you're towing safely behind your vehicle. Also, we wanna give a shout out to Real Truck and Havoc Bumpers because they've provided the bumper that's capable with the Blue Ox tow plate so you can have your Blue Ox tow plate mounted underneath your Havoc bumper and you can have it all with a winch and be able to flat tow safely with your winch, your bumper, and your Blue Ox tow bar. If you're interested in buying any of these products, they'll be in the description below. You can order them from Amazon or directly from the distributor. So let's get right to it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here and Brandy actually was in the Bronco and I had her pull up to where I thought looked right. Looks like we may be a little bit close, but you can spread these arms out. All right, so Blue Hawks has sent us these handy dandy lockable pins and I really recommend using these guys somebody pulled the pins on one of ours before we had these locking ones and our entire Jeep Wrangler came unhooked from our old motorhome just happened to see it and instead of slamming on the brakes I just hit it enough but yeah. it could have been a lot worse than this though we all, we can. thankfully I was able to spot it in the rearview camera and uh, pull over before we lost it completely You'll have arrow indicators on yours that tell you this side up. Make sure you put them the right way because they're not made to support the weight going the opposite direction. You can have these completely loose and Blue Ox has come up with a really nice design to where um, it makes it easy to pull forward and hook up to this and that's why these arms extend and retract. And this seven pin connector is so that your lights on your motorhome control the lights and blinkers on your tow vehicle. In this case, it's a Ford Bronco. And what I've actually also done is on their cable, the center pin is made for a 12 volt auxiliary connection. And so I actually wired that into my motorhome's 12 volt, and then I run the Patriot braking system, which I'll show you here in just a minute. So the Patriot braking system runs off the 12 voltage, 12 volt voltage from the box truck or motorhome instead of the Bronco. So if you're towing for several days, you don't have to worry about it killing your battery in here. Arrow up. Okay, that's literally all you do for the actual tow bar. Wheelie bars hooked into our motorhome all the time. So now you're gonna take your tow safety cables included in your Blue Ox package and you're gonna crisscross them and then hook them down here to their conveniently placed tow hook mounts. And their safety mechanism for these tow bars on this particular tow bar is you wrap a cable around the frame after you mount this. We have a full video of this too. Uh, it's in the description below, but I'll also tag a little portion here if you wanna see it. And um, that's what secures their tow bar to your frame in case there was a bolt malfunction or a plate malfunction. Crisscross, next one goes in there. Then you've got your seven pin connector. And all this is just mounted wherever you decided to put it. Which if you follow their directions to a T, Blue Ox tells you how to mount everything. We are the first to do it with an aftermarket bumper like this where we could have a winch and everything on it. So if you wanna learn about that, tune into our video. Now, last thing, you have a breakaway switch right up here. This is where I mounted mine. And what this is for is if your tow vehicle for some reason is able to come unhooked, once this is fully extended, it pulls the brakeway and it locks all the brakes up for your Patriot brake system on the inside. Let's go check that out. Okay, so one of the first things that I always check is obviously you wanna make sure that your tires are straight with your tow vehicle. And obviously if your vehicle's running, it's much easier to do that with your power steering. Now we're straight, everything's good. Now I'm gonna show you the process, neutral tow position on Ford Bronco. So, what you'll do 
is you'll come in here without your foot on the brake and you'll press your start button. Once you've pressed your start button, you're gonna pull your gear shifter down into neutral with your foot on the brake. Then, take your foot off the brake, press the two wheel high button on your four wheel drive shift remote. Now, put your foot back on the brake and go into your menu to set up. Hit your three line button on your steering wheel, scroll down to settings, click on settings, and then click neutral toe. Once you press neutral toe, it's gonna to take you to this next option and it says, hold OK to initialize neutral toe mode. You're gonna hold OK down. It's gonna give you a loading bar, complete. And now it's doing all your transfer case and your four wheel drive things. You can hear it clicking and stuff. Now neutral toe mode is enabled. It says check brake system. It's gonna tell you all these things that it kind of puts into these certain modes so that it's neutral toe compatible. And that's it. There's no levers, there's no four wheel drive transfer case. It does it all automatically and it is sweet. Now, importantly, do not put your machine back in park. Leave it in neutral and shut it off. If you put this back into park, it takes you out of neutral tow mode. If you do that and you go take off, you will tear your transmission up. Leave it in neutral. The whole time you're in uh, flat tow mode or neutral tow mode, it's gonna show neutral tow mode on your dash. That is what you want. And every time you open your door, it beeps like that constantly telling you this is in neutral tow mode do not leave because it, this thing will roll if you don't have it hooked up flat toe ready it will roll away as soon as you close the door you're still in neutral tow mode and it's ready to tow down the road now that we're in neutral tow mode i'm going to show you how to hook up your brake system using the blue ox patriot 3 patriot brake system with your Blue Ox kit, you should have got a breakaway switch, and this breakaway switch hooks on up front, and then you run this three and a half millimeter headphone jack cable up here to your floorboard. This is for your breakaways. Okay, so now you're gonna grab your Patriot brake system, and there's a couple of different options. You've got this 12 volt plug. Typically, I don't depend on one of the 12 volt plugs in the vehicle that's already here. So my two favorite options are one, you can run a 12 volt line from your battery to right in here somewhere. You can see I have mine here. Or you can run 12 volt from your towing vehicle to a 12 volt plug in here and hook it in that way, which is what we've done. And what that does, it gives you constant 12 volt power with plenty of amperage to the plug that you're using for your Patriot brake system. You'll take this little guy here and you want the spring part going up. So this will go over the top of your brake like that. And then that will crunch down on it. Set your brake, Patriot brake in the floor as stable as you can. Put that around the bottom of the brake, pull it up over the top, push it back down and it's locked on there. That's what it should look like. And it's gonna sit in there pretty loosely. You can adjust this guy here. Then you'll plug your breakaway plug right into the breakaway outlet. Okay, so once that's plugged in, you'll move your seat up to it as close as you can get it. Okay, then you wanna kinda of pull the Patriot brake system towards your seat so it's not pushing on the brake. Now what I'll do is you press the power button Power button's gonna turn it on. You'll see these blinking lights, that's normal. You'll press the setup button. That setup button is testing the resistance of your brake pressure and it's calibrating the system to make sure it knows this is where your brakes. Now, if everything's good, you'll see a power light solid green and that means your Blue Ox Patriot brake system is ready to flat toe and it's ready to be your brakes. At the back of the vehicle, you can clearly see that our brake lights are not on that means that the Patriot brake system is far enough away from the brakes where it's not applying them all the time for the brake lights. The final thing that we'll check is we'll go into our motorhome and we will ensure in the motorhome sensor that's in there, that it's got a screen, it'll tell you your brake sensitivity force. And we make sure that that is communicating with this properly. So let's go check that. I'm now in my box truck or your motorhome or wherever you have yours mounted. And I have Velcroed the brake control board to the dash 
That way I can easily see it driving down the road. And if for some reason you needed to hit the brake button, there's a manual brake button on here. You can simply press that manual brake button and that will apply the brakes back there. We won't go too far into brake force and sensitivity. Sensitivity is obviously how sensitive you want your brakes to be when you apply your brakes in here and this vehicle is slowing down before it starts applying the brakes back there. For the Ford Bronco, they seem to be very sensitive the way that that applies brakes. So on my Jeep Wrangler, I pretty much had them both maxed out. On the Ford Bronco, I have them turned down to almost the lowest setting. So the specific setting that I use on our rig is I use a sensitivity rating of four and I use a, a force setting of four. And so if you're towing the Ford Bronco, you can kind of play around with it and get it however you feel, but that's what works best for me in our tow setup. And as long as you're holding the manual brake button in here, the brakes are being held back there. That's as if you're putting your foot on the brake. Blue Ox specifically talks about specifications and requirements for flat towing a vehicle. One of those requirements is a certain amount of inches between where you're hooked up to your tow vehicle and where you're hooked up to your tow rig, the one that's towing the tow, towed vehicle and there's a drop in inches from here to here that you shouldn't be above. Right now we're on sort of an incline, so when you have an incline you're gonna have that, but when we're not on an incline, we're pretty much straight across here or level on the tow bar. So to take it out of neutral tow mode, you're simply gonna get in the vehicle, put your foot on the brake, and put your transmission back in park. I always shut the vehicle off. Once the vehicle shut off, it says neutral tow mode disabled, then, Unhook your tow bar the way that you hooked it up. Just do it all in reverse. And when you get back in your Bronco and you start it up, it'll be ready to drive. That's as simple as it is to get out of tow mode. Way simpler than the Jeeps. If you're here because you have a Jeep, head on over and check out this video right here and we'll tell you how to do it in a Jeep JK or a Jeep JLU. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I was able to quickly help you figure out how to flat tow your Ford Bronco. Above all, we absolutely love this flat tow setup. Once you get good at it, you can be hooked or unhooked in less than five minutes. And it just makes it nice when you're towing your vehicle somewhere to not have to have a trailer that you figure out what to do with. So Blue Ox has huge amounts of specific tow plates and wiring kits that they use for all these different vehicles so that you can flat tow your rig. And we hope that you'll check them out. And it's an American made product, an American made company, and they have been an absolute pleasure for us to work with. Also, another huge thank you to Real Truck sending us this, this awesome bumper. It's really heavy duty, this Havoc bumper. Been really impressed with it. It made it real easy to slide the winch in and out of here. And above all, we were just super stoked to have a aftermarket bumper that would allow us to put our winch on there and be able to still flat tow our vehicle with the Blue Ox tow system. Thank you to DV8 for supplying the camera relocation bracket. So we moved our front facing camera up here to the front of our tow winch. Um, and that lets us use our 360 cameras as if they were from the factory. Um, this bumper by Havoc already comes with the uh, adaptive cruise control relocation brackets. So everything that you need to do that is there. You can purchase all this from the link below in the description. Also, we do what's called a build diagram on our website at benandbrandy.com where we have a picture and a link of each one of our rigs that we personally own and once you click into that it'll dial in and you can see all of the hardware and all of the items that we use on that specific vehicle so you can purchase anything that we use on this also a big thank you to buck your bronco they provided us with this awesome rail system in the front of our dash and it has been super awesome for holding cameras and phones and everything else they also paint matched the badlands color which was appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this video has been a great help to you, we really hope that you subscribe to our channel. Check out some of our episodes where we take across the United States and, and go traveling. So also on our website, we're going to have a downloadable picture that you can pull up. It'll be a checklist of all the things that you need to do whenever you're flat towing your Bronco, getting it into flat tow mode and getting it back out. So you have that reference all the time you can pull up on your phone whenever you're getting through this process.